Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard, Frank. What's going on, Cuz? Oh, what's oh, Cuz? Ew, I don't know why I said <laughs> what, that. What the fuck was that? <laughs> why am I your Cuz? Uh oh, uh, have I been downgraded? From best friend, from bestie. I never said soul. bestie. I've said bud. You have said bud. What, so then, what do you call your best friends? Well, you you call by me, their names. You do so then. So then, yeah. So then, I guess I'm in the right in the right you know echelon of yeah. people because you never call me anything outside of piece of shit, asshole. Where the fuck are you? Yeah, you know th those general things, right? Um, but where the fuck are you? Yeah, that was very New York of you. I think are you on a uh, are you on a bit of a Bing Bong cruise because of the Knicks? What? Oh well, yeah, maybe. You become. I notice you really like the Knicks when they're winning. No, just when they're in the playoffs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> At least you admit it. I don't really watch bas. I mean, I watch basketball, but like very passively, and I definitely don't watch regular season basketball like the first quarter. Yeah, you you are. Uh, I would say of your like sports fandom. Yeah, you are an active Giants fan. Yes. an active Yankees fan. Yeah, a passive Knicks fan and yeah. a passive Rangers fan. No, I'm more active. I would say I'm more active on the Rangers than probably not more than the Giants, but they're definitely second place. Real? Well, yeah. I mean, I guess it's easier to watch the Giants more because it's only on once a week. Yeah. And it's kind of like, you, you know, it's like a holy day basically for yeah. football fans when football The Rangers Sunday. though, I, I watch like almost uh, like every game. I really? Think. Yeah. Wow. That's, I, I try to watch all the Yankee games. A lot of games. It's easier now. It's only two and a half hours. Gus? No, I kind of miss when it was longer. It's going to suck when we go to a game and we go to get a beer and we come back and four innings have gone by. And we're like, what did I miss? And it's like the whole game practically. Mm. Well, if you sit in cool seats, you just order it to your seat. Yeah, well, Joey, we're not all fucking big billionaire boys, okay? <laughs> you know, like someone else I know. Listen, what, what, you what, what would you be willing to spend? Have you ever sat in the Legend Suite? In no. Uh, that's the one where they you basically order whatever food you want, right? Yeah. Do you know how fucking cool I would feel if someone in like a shirt and tie came up to me and said, "What would you like, sir?" And a I went, "Shirt and tie." Do, is that not what they wear? I don't. Oh, actually, maybe I don't know. I I assume if it's the Legend Suite, they're like, it's New York. They're extra. They're yeah. gonna be like, you know, like fucking white glove service. Yeah. You know how cool I would feel if someone came up to me and they were like, "And sir, for you, I would say, um." Uh, Bud Light in a hot dog, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just like throwing a fucking bag of Cracker Jacks. Yeah. Um, mm, I would really love uh, cotton candy while you're at it. Yeah. Do you do cotton candy at baseball games? I haven't in a long time, but I would. They're huge. Bro, I recently saw something and it was like the, like a big old fat old, like a bofo of cotton candy. Yeah. Is like 30 calories because it is all like air. But it's probably ninety grams of sugar. Well, it's all sugar, but it's it's it looks like think of the weight I of don't, cotton candy. I don't really like cotton candy. I, I don't I don't mind it. I hate cotton candy flavored stuff. I just like I, I just like the first bite is good, but then it's like all over my face, and then I, I've got it's like little hairs all everywhere. Over your, all over your face. What kind of a fucking idiot are you? If, just just go like this. I tell I tell you, <laughs> that's how I that's how I eat my cotton candy. <laughs> I I like pulling it apart. You like so like you really want to feel and you it feels know. like what's that stuff that goes in your walls? Asbestos. No, uh, insulation. Yeah. Well. Yeah, okay. So what kind of asbestos was insulation. But it has like fiberglass in it. It's different. Fiberglass insulation. There you yeah, go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. It, so I like that. You're I like gonna it. tell me? Can I ask you? Because your father was into contracting. My dad was into not being my dad. What would you say is like the most like appealing looking part of having dads in that business? And yes, joke is my dad was also a contractor. Didn't you want to eat the insulation? Well, yeah, it looked like fucking sil uh, silicone. It, uh, no, not silicone. It looked like cotton candy, but I also liked silicone. Um, weird. Yeah, I, I, I also love sawdust. Sawdust. I love sawdust, bro. I can. I, it's basically couscous, but I, I could eat it. I, would, I could eat. I it. swear to God, I could eat it too. Also, when people open like the big thing of like plaster. Yes. I would take a spoon and eat it. And I, you know, those videos where people clean the plaster off, I'll sit there and I will fucking shove it in me. I love that too. Oh. Would, you open up a fresh fucking uh, bucket and then like, you know when you're like doing stuff, it's like, like my dad was really good at this, but I, I couldn't do he it. He would throw it? But like, yeah, he would throw he it. He would fucking throw it like a mess? Yeah. And then, and then he would wipe it on the side and be like, yeah. yeah. And then just go back to like, 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. oh, people are laying bricks. I love that too. I love concrete. Does smell delicious, but I don't know if I would eat I it. I wouldn't eat that. I, oh, I, sawdust. I'm eating. Sawdust. I'm eating. Paint. I would honestly drink paint if it didn't kill me. Depends what color, honestly. Uh, I love sawdust. White. Well, no, a little too. Not white, maybe. You would eat white? I wouldn't eat white. I'm saying I, I would, would eat like a nice, like a like a gray or a blue. That looks appealing. I wouldn't eat a gray. You wouldn't eat a gray? No, I'd eat like a pink or like a, a light pink, blue. Pink or light blue? Yeah, I'm I'm with you there. Brings you back to white. I guess you don't like cotton candy. Those well, are yeah, those the are two <laughs> primary colors. <laughs> also, you ever eat cotton candy and like you bite the thing and it and then it, it gets all like hard and yeah and it gets like your mouth is like acid you ever yes! think you ever think like you're like a fucking you know yes. like you're a xenomorph and you're like and you like put it on your tongue and it just fucking evaporates well, you've lost me now I'm a xenomorph from alien yeah i didn't i don't i've never Al you've never seen any of the alien movies i've seen frames well, they have acid spit and yes. acid blood same thing back yeah. to the original question right what would i spend on a legend suite game yes um, what's an acceptable amount to spend on beer and hot dogs at a baseball game? No, that's not what I'm asking. What are you asking? <laughs> How much did you pay for the ticket? Oh, max? Yeah. 300 bucks. Oh, that ain't happening then. Uh, there more? Of course there are more. Uh, why? If I'm going to see the Yankees versus the fucking Washington Nationals, they should pay me to sit in those seats. <laughs> no, not those. It's nice seats. I know. You get your own entrance too, which is nice. Yeah, sweet, cool. All I've the fucking, oh, twice. all the, all the, roll out the red carpet for the fucking, you know, New York elite, you fucking little bitch. Listen, I want to be in a crowd. I want to be in the bleacher creatures where we're screaming and fucking throwing spit at each other. And I someone don't. hits a home run and I get a fucking cause light in the back of my head. No, I don't want that. You don't want that? I'm over that. Oh, uh, I would like that in a bar, but not at a game. Why? That's worse. I know. I like, like, if I'm watching a sport at a bar, I would prefer that every time we score, beer just gets You're just fucking fully thrown. in, like, the camaraderie yeah. of everything going I'd on. I'd rather just be like, there was a, there used to be a bar next to MSG, and I would go and watch. Legends, uh, I remember. No, no, no. It, it, was a, it was called the Flying Puck. Oh, okay. And it yeah, was yeah, a yeah, Rangers yeah, bar, and we were watching a playoff game there, uh, and every time they scored, beer, I was covered. It was awesome. Yeah, I, I kind of want to do that. I want, like, uh, you know, just, like, I want to go to a playoff game because that's when you see the beers are flying for what a yankee playoff oh, okay. game and like fucking judge hits a home run or like anyone hits a home run realistically Dude. and people just start throwing their they forget that they have 30 dollars beers in their hands and they throw them across the bleachers kind of want to be there for that. i was this close i went to uh this is some years ago um but it was a, a play-in game for the yankees and judge homer in the first like the top of the first or the bottom of the first i should say and I was like upper deck, but first row. Dude, when that ball came off the bat, it took everything out of me not to just take this beer and just fucking, yeah! Well, that's, that's the thing it. is like, they can't kick everyone out. So like, just do it. What are they going to do? I mean, I, this, I was pretty high. I could have got this on the, in the infield. No, dude, you throw the beer, the liquid comes out, the cup falls fucking two feet in front of you. It was a new beer. Nah, I don't it think was the first inning. I don't think you would have got it done. I mean, bro, you ever see these clips from like the fucking like 60s and 70s? Someone hits a home run and everyone rushes onto the field to like yeah. fucking dap them up and shit like that. Yeah, and no one even stops them. Well, they didn't. Now they do. Now it's a problem. Well, yeah. but because, I'm saying like back then, it's just like Son of Sam really ruined everything, man. Is that why we do this? I don't know why, but it was around that time that this stopped happening. So you're just gonna blame him for that too? I mean, he can take all the blame he deserves. That rotten bastard, the murderous bitch. Yeah, he he could. Who gives a fuck? Oh, you're sticking up for Son of Sam. I'm Defend, saying defending, he's a murderous bitch. Defending the son of Sam here. I, I'm not defending the son of Sam. I was on your side. He was a racist. Was he? Oh, are you defending him now? I'm asking. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He could have been, maybe. Everyone was racist back then. What are you going to do? Um, we should go to a Yankee <laughs> Um, We should go to the opposite. Yankee. We should go to a Yankee game. We'll go to the Legends suite. Are you putting on the company card? Okay. Oh, for a Patreon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll take you to the game, but you have to eat six hot dogs. <laughs> no wait. You have to do the you have to do the the challenge. Uh, it, the people are saying, so did you hear what happened at the Philly Stadium? No. They had dollar hot dog night and it turned into a food fight of people tossing hot dogs across the fucking 
That's fire. That is the, people were saying, I sending this like, what fight. an atrocity. Bro. It's a food fight. Do you know how bad a 30-year-old man wants to be involved in a food fight? Do you know how badly I want to get pegged with a hot dog? That was so crazy <laughs> that I said pegged too. That was so <laughs> crazy that I said pegged out of all the words. I tried to not do that too. Like I knew that I was saying hot dog, so I wasn't paying attention to the pegged. And I just said it. I was like, all right, well. You tell me about how bad you want to get pegged with a hot dog, Joey. <laughs> where where do you want the pegging? That's I'm going to start so from bad. the top. Stop me where you want the pegging to stop, okay? That's so crazy. Stop. That's that's midsection, My baby. Tits, yeah. that's, you're getting a titty um, fucked by a hot dog. <laughs> that's crazy that I said that. Um, but, yeah, yeah, people were like, they were tagging us in the clips because baseball season started, dog sucking spring is here. Mm. The spring of suck. <laughs> I... <laughs> I, I heard that and I was like, genius. Because people were buying yeah. tickets to just go to the game and eat hot dogs. Duh. And the lines were insane. And apparently, like Philly does, got out of hand. You're right. And they were throwing hot dogs across the stands at each other. That is so fun. I haven't had a food fight. Sixth grade. Years. Sixth grade. What year yeah. was that? 2004? 19 years almost. Was it? Two, uh, 2003, 2004, around that time. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, we. Uh, <laughs> You know, this is not a bit. I only know what grade I'm in. By 9-11? Because of 9-11. Because <laughs> I know what grade I was yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When 9-11 happened, I'm like, oh, okay, so it's got to be. It's got to be. It's three years after 9-11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, man. But I want to have a food fight so bad. But let's go to the game. There's a challenge, though, that you have to compete it's, in. You have to do a, a, a beer and a hot dog every inning. I don't think because of the new way that the innings are structured it's in the tough. time that I'd be able to do that. Right. I don't I don't physically think my body would be able to do it. Well, that's the point. You're supposed to suffer. Oh, well, I don't want to I don't want to <laughs> Which suffer. one do you think you could do though? Just, if you're not going to do both. Uh, honestly? Yeah. Mm. It's probably the beer. I would say no. I would, uh yeah, I'd say a beer. Beer every inning, nine beers in 3 hours? Oh, I've done that in fucking That's easy. Yeah, yeah that's kind of not that's hard. That's not that hard at all. But I mean, we should do it though. Um, we should try to jointly do it, or we should just jointly, jointly. What do you mean, like split the beer? No, like oh, we'll both do it. Well, like one inning, I do a beer, you do a hot dog, and then we flip. Oh, oh, Jesus, that's mad hot dogs. No, you idiot. One inning, I do the beer, you do the hot dog. Yeah. The next inning, it's the same amount of hot dogs. I know. I'm saying I still have to eat four hot dogs. You can't eat four hot dogs in a game. I can do that right now. <laughs> All right, so then you do the four. Oh no! I you do the five. I have to do four. Uh, oh, so I'm doing the hot dogs, <laughs> so you could protect your boyish fucking figure. No, no, no! You're doing the extra hot dog, hot shot. Oh, I'll do. Listen to me. So you very clear. You do. Let me be very clear about something. Yes. I don't understand why. Like, I can take down four hot dogs in a sitting and be ready in an hour. <laughs> All right, we should do that then. Okay. We'll go to a game. A regular hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not like a fucking full Frank. No, I don't want no like fucking no foot long balls. bad boy with yeah. balls. Yeah, I want no, no I want big boy. Yeah, I want this thing shaved and ready to go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's easy. All right, good. You bring it in here. I'll do it. Bring it in. We don't have a hot dog. I would love a hot dog though. Why don't we get a hot dog roller for the studio? A hot dog roller? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> First that. of all, you suggested a Slurpee machine. Yeah. Then so, a hot dog. What do you, you turn this into? A circus? What's next? A clown? Oh, I'm sorry, Joey. I walked in and there were penises on the fucking light switch. I apologize if I thought a hot dog roller was out of fucking touch. That was the, <laughs> that was Greg. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Greg can put penises on the light switches and Fiji water is delivered all the time. But the moment <laughs> I bring up a slushy machine and a hot dog roller, I'm the stupid one. A $1,500 slushy machine. How much? Let me ask you a serious question. Here we go. How much you think? Yeah. What? How much do you think all those Fiji waters cost a year? A year? Yeah. I don't know. You think they're more than $100 a month? Fuck no. Yeah, no. It was a stupid thing of me to <laughs> what ask. What are you talking about? <laughs> Honestly, I started this sentence. Didn't quite also, know. Also, it's water. It's essential to our living. Yeah. You're going to tell me that hot dogs are not as essential as water? They're the opposite. <laughs> They literally kill us. <laughs> They're detrimental. <laughs> They're detrimental to our survival, Frank. I would say that if you were to have something that's going to give you equal amounts of protein, fat, cholesterol, you want a hot dog. Yeah. So we're going to go to a game. I'll try to get seats that are, like, on TV. 
so we could just eat hot dogs on TV <laughs> the Yankee game. We should just get white shirts and bro. Have those tickets, <laughs> those t- <laughs> that would be I sick. Mean, those tickets are like f- like five hundred bucks a piece, right? They are more. Then let's just do this in our own spare time, so we can save the money I, and do something I, better. There, with it. there were seats that I looked at the other day. Um, there was four of them, and I think they were like eight hundred bucks a piece. Yeah. Does it come with like you get a free beer and hot dog at least? Um. Oh, all oh, there's all the food is like complimentary in there. Oh, so we'll be ordering food and the food and beer will be free. Not the beer. But the food. Yeah. So we'll only pay for beer. Yes. So in theory, if you got hundred dollar tickets and bought ten beers, it would be half of what. They <laughs> We're really like, <laughs> yeah, we got to figure this out. Um, no matter what you do, it's going to be expensive. Listen, hot. Wait, hold on. A hot dog is probably like nine bucks. No, I think it's like six seventy. And beers are like fifteen. Beers are like twelve, thirteen dollars. Yeah. So if you get a fat boy, yeah. But and we can't pregame, which hurts. Yeah, no, that does. It does. Because you know, I like to. But it's okay. We can get there early. Oh, we can't pregame. Well, no, the game. <laughs> what do you, I'm literally saying we can't pregame. Fuck. I would have a pregame hot dog though. I would warm up my stomach. With I, a hot well, dog. I think you need to warm up your stomach with something. They have like a they have like they have like a nice, like spread. Wait they a have, sec. Like, prime rib and shit. Uh oh, might want to go. Yeah. Wait a sec. Yeah. I tend to be hungrier when I drink, so if I start drinking before the game, yes, I'll be more inclined to eat more. Yeah. Huh. Okay. I think we could do it. I think, honestly, what, four, five hot dogs in a game, Joey, Yeah, that will be scarily and easy. And then I will do four hot dogs and five beers. You do five hot dogs and four beers. Let me be very clear. <laughs> I will do that in record time. <laughs> like, I think you'll be a little... You have to wait. It has to be the inning. That'll make it easier, <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest. Because... Here's the thing. I don't know if anyone out there is like good old Frankie over here, but I, I have very this, doable. I have this problem where I'm always hungry. Yeah. I don't know if it's a tapeworm or some some form of bacterial. A tapeworm would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to. I've actually lost nine pounds already over the last three weeks. It probably is a tapeworm. I would like a tapeworm if it helps. Yeah. All I'm saying is, if you were to just say like fucking take the reins off me and say, go go nuts on some hot dogs, yeah. you'd be shocked at what I could do. You might be a little scared. Oh, we're, we're going to find the fuck out. <laughs> okay. And there's going to be a, a cotton candy thrown into this. Um, yeah, well, you need well, dessert. They have a wall of candy before you walk out to your seats. Oh, and that's complimentary too? Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like bubble gum. Bro, why do you rich people get all this cool treatment? Us fucking... First of all, I sat here twice in my entire life. Okay, guess how many times I have. Yes. Zero, Joey. Okay. Okay. And I don't I do not do this all the time. It's just like if I go, I'll Let fucking... me ask you though. Do you not do it all the time because you don't get, you don't, you choose not to or because you can't? I, that would be an insane expense. If you were to do this once a month. Once a month? That's a lot. $800? It's $1,000 basically. Once a month? It's $1,000 to go to a game. Let's look at your checkbook. Let's see what you spend that money on. <laughs> I can imagine there's some pretty stupid things in there. Apparently, Fiji water costs that much money. Well, it's Fiji water. It's from the mountains of Fiji? Mm, I don't know. I don't know where that is. I think it's just one mountain. I, Mount, I Mount swear. Fiji? Oh, that's Fuji. Good well, night. Are they different? Fiji and Fuji? I honestly think. Mount thought, Fuji. Mount Fuji different from Pokemon. Fiji. What? Mount nope. Fuji from Pokemon. No, from the Earth. Just regular Earth, real Earth. Mount, so hold on. Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji is a real place on Earth, not from Pokemon. Maybe it's in Pokemon, but it's it's a place. It's definitely Mount, a place. Mount, hold, hold, hold. Mount Fuji. I'm I'm confused at what you're confused about. Fiji water. Fiji is a place. Mount Fuji Pokemon. Mister Fuji is a Pokemon guy. He's the founder of Cinnabar Lab on Cinnabar Island, which is where they did the testing on Mew to create the genetic clone Mewtwo, Joey. I wish I didn't know that. But isn't there a lot of Magmars over there? There is a quite a bit of Magmars because the lab burned down. Right. So now it's a fireplace. You can also find some Arcanine over Please there. Please stop talking. All right. Mount Fuji. Mm-hmm. You didn't know that was a thing? I, I, if I'm being truly, truly honest and true to the man that I am, <laughs> no, I did not. It's in Japan. Okay. And Fiji, you know Fiji, 
It's its own thing. So separate from. It's not Japan. So Fuji, Fiji, different places, different things. Just similar spelling. That's pretty much it. I don't even know where Fiji is. It's in the middle of the ocean somewhere. Oh, is, isn't that like an island like a, in, that people go to? Well, if it's an island. Well, I'm saying like, isn't it like a tr popular like travel destination for the Hollywood I, elite? I think. I don't know. Oh, it's off the coast of Australia. Oh, I, I, It's not even like off the coast. It's very kind of far. Oh, my God. So all those Australian freaks go there? I don't know. They're like, we're going to go over to Fiji. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at this. This is where it is. Right there. You can swim to it. It's like Cuba in the United States. You can't swim to Cuba. People have done it, and they have survived and found better lives. <laughs> I hope you feel real good about yourself. You could see Cuba from Key West. I didn't. Because you didn't look. You, could, you saw it? Yeah, because I wanted to look out at all the people over there. Oh, but you flew there. Standing on the beach. Oh, in Key West, got it. You can see Cuba, because I wanted to look out and see people of other, you know, worlds, nations. Really, you know, imagine a world outside of this bubble I live in. Right. From Key West. <laughs> From the beach on Key West. He's a humanitarian. <laughs> He's a man of the world. I am a man of the world. Yeah. What are you a man of? Lies. A man of lies. Man of fucking baseball games. Speaking of, you definitely are a man of lies, Joey. I'm Welcome right. back, ladies and gentlemen, to this week's edition, and quite possibly, the pinnacle on Mount Fiji, <laughs> keeping it frank. Thank you for joining me. I don't me. know if that made sense, but go ahead. The pinnacle of a mountain, I know, Mount Fiji. Just... The pinnacle of a, of a top of a mountain is Look, called a pinnacle. It's called a peak. Look it up, Joey. The top of a mountain peak. is the pinnacle. Peak. Before we get to keeping it frank, a little word from our sponsors, Google. Pinnacle. <laughs> what is a pinnacle? The pinnacle is the top. Oh. But when you're referring to mountains. Uh, in reference to mountains. No way. You made it up. A high pointed piece of the rock. The top of it, Joey. That says just a high one. What's the peak of a mountain? Maybe we're both right. I think we are both right. I think it's like tomato, tomato. I think. Like people pronounce it pinnacle or peak. I'm I, sure. I it's... don't like pinnacle because one time I drank pinnacle vodka and it made me throw up. Oh, yes. Disgusting pinnacle vodka. Never getting that brand deal. It's yeah. all right. I, oh, no. Oh, it was cotton candy flavor. Yeah, I was going to say. Or the whipped cream one. Oh, no. My yeah, college self is real upset. I drank a lot of cotton candy pin pinnacle vodka one night and threw up in my mom's tub. Uh, disgusting. Don't care to hear more of and that then story. When I woke up in the morning. You're going to tell it anyways. When I woke up in the morning, my mom came in the room and she said, who threw their boxers in the toilet? Keith. And it wasn't me. Yeah. We know. <laughs> we both had a night. It was Keith. Um, welcome back to this week's edition of Keeping It Frank, where we like to, as it says in the title, keep it frank. Be honest here. Make sure Joey understands you know, some of the things he said might not have been true all these years. Now, Joey, recently, mm. I got to say, I've come under fire. We did our, our incredible, uh, uh, you know, episode on Patreon for our patrons uh, where we were, you know, testing how good our etiquette was. Correct? Mm -hmm. And that was a good episode, right? Yeah. Good old time. Joey doesn't – I like to tell Joey he has poor potty etiquette because he likes to always talk about using the potty. Right, Joey? The potty. The potty. Right. Walk me here. Get to the point. You always do this. Well, no. I, I always say you have IBS, and you say, no, I don't. I've made that up. Yes. I, that's not fucking true, Joey. You have said okay. that. Okay. Joey, you don't think you have IBS? How the fuck would you know? Because you've said it. Yeah, in, in like 10 years ago. Got I, him. As a Got joke. him. There it is. Uh, you, Ladies and gentlemen. You missed what I said. Ladies and gentlemen, Joey okay. is sitting here and denied saying that he has IBS, and boy, oh boy, do I have some news for all of you. Well, two years ago, our friend Joe Sanagato did an incredible podcast with an incredible comedian by the name of Andrew Santino. Do you remember this? You remember that? Did I say that I had Do IBS? you remember that, Joey? Okay, go ahead. Remember that? Play it. Let's play this. To water pretty much instantaneously. <laughs> Dude, do you need to go to the doctor? No, yeah, 100%. Like, I self-diagnosed myself a while ago with, like, uh, I just probably got IBS or whatever. You know? You hear what I said? Pause it real quick. Pause it real quick. Uh, I don't need to pause it. The, the proof is in the pudding, Joey. That's the pudding? It's square right there in the pudding. 
I <laughs> have always right said there. Joey has IBS. And he's like, no, I don't, dude. I swear to God, I don't. You said it yourself. Yeah. Two years ago on a podcast. Right. That you have IBS. Let me ask you a question. You don't have to. Okay. What does Andrew Santino do for a living? Um, and what genre is the podcast? Um, I So he does comedy, podcasting, mm-hmm. acting, you know, in that space. All right. Uh, and I believe he, he keeps it mostly conjoined to the genre of comedy. Thank you. So that's it. No further questions. No, there are further questions. No further questions, Your Honor. No, no, Your Honor. It's an objection. Your Honor, move to strike. No, objection. Objection for the moving. Ob- object his objection. Object your objection. I'm still overruled. talking. Overruled. No, there's no judgment here. You've been overruled. Here. That was you turning to the side. It wasn't. Yeah. Bailiff, contempt of court. Get the fuck out of here. Contempt of court. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm saying, oh, my dad's calling. Oh, God. You have to pick that up. After this all, never happens. After all this time, do I really pick it up? No. Yeah, I, I, I'm afraid. Uh, you're ringing fi- five different places. What's <laughs> I got an Apple now? Watch, baby. And yes, my dad's name in my phone is Frank Alvarez, not Dad. <laughs> um, back to it. Your dad's name in your phone yeah. is Frank Alvarez. Yeah, what? Well, this is his name. It's not uh, not Daddy. What, Kiko. Oh, Big Daddy. No, it's not Big Daddy. Big Daddy has landed. Tr- stop trying to change the subject, you bitch. You what are we have about? sat here and tried to gaslight me and the friends of the show that sit here and watch every single week. Thank you so much, by the way. You're on my side. By Someone saying, sent you that? Yes. <laughs> and I wish I remembered the gentleman's you name. You fucking rats! <laughs> <laughs> I wish I remembered the gentleman's name. I'm not going to scour through my messages to find it. Oh, I'm sure you'd have to scour. Bitch. Don't try to... We're not done here. Don't pull up the ads, you stupid bitch. I know what you're doing. Go ahead. You try to say all the time, I don't have IBS, but you self-diagnosed yourself yes. on a comedy podcast. You didn't sound like you were very funny in that clip right That's there. That's because I'm a great actor. You didn't sound that funny. I'm a great actor. Are you? Give me an, the Academy Award. For Thank what? You. For gaslighting? Fooling you. Oh, uh, for fooling me. If you're a good actor, you have to be a good gaslighter. I, uh, well, I don't know. And you would know that. I don't know because that. Because you light me up with gas all the stop, time. F- stop that. That's not true. If anyone is sitting here torching things, putting them on fire, uh, crosses or whatever, it's you, Joey. <laughs> you sat here for years and said, like, I didn't say I have IBS. Yeah, I don't have IBS. You, <laughs> for years now. <laughs> for years and you, years, decades. We now have video evidence. Oh, whatever. You don't even know what Mount Fuji is. Of, you don't know what broth is, Joey. I didn't know what broth is. And now I didn't know what Mount Fuji was, and now I do. It's Mount Fuji. So you don't yet. From Fuji. Now I know. Now you know. Now I know what it is. Stupid fuck. Oh, no, I'm not a stupid fuck. That's not even fun. This episode is actually sponsored by BetterHelp. <laughs> BetterHelp. Well, they, hey, folks, before he gets into the ad, I just want to say thanks for hanging out with me and keeping it frank. Oh, beautiful. Uh, but yeah, this podcast is actually sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online therapy uh, and counseling. You want to talk to a therapist, they'll hook you up in just under 48 hours. It's easy to get onboarded that way. It's also easy to find the right fit for you. You can talk to different therapists, and they'll just kind of hook you up and make sure uh, you know, you're know you getting what you need. Um, I've been in therapy for years now, and I think that everyone should have that uh, in their life because it's just good for your brain. It's like going to the gym for your brain. I actually had therapy this morning. My therapist took the last three weeks off. That was a thing, but we're back, baby. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, if you're thinking about starting therapy, definitely give it a, a better help a, a try. Um, it's also suited to your schedule, so it's flexible and it's also more affordable than uh, like in-person therapy. Um, so go check it out, betterhelp.com slash basement yard, and you will get 10% off your first month. Uh, that is betterhelp.com slash basement yard uh, to get 10% off of your first month, uh, which is huge. So definitely go check that out. Um, you know, get in that, get in that therapy. Yeah, I mean, um, also we have Squarespace, Squarespace, lovely company. This is where I'm, this is the company that I've used to build any website that I've ever had, um, have done it through Squarespace. They have lovely, um, templates. Uh, you don't have to be this crazy web designer to get, you know, a, a nice looking, uh, website. They have a bunch of templates. That's my favorite part about it. Um, definitely go check them out and you just switch out the text and everything. They're really going to help you not only look, not only is the website going to look really good, but it's going to function really well um, as well because, you know, they can help you engage with your audience or sell anything. You know, you, if you have an e-commerce store or you create content or something like that, you're going to need a website for those things. So 
you know, this is the way to do it. And like I said, they're going to, it's, it's going to help you build your audience because they do have analytics and, you know, tell you where the traffic's coming from and you can repurpose that information and help yourself grow. Um, and right now uh, you can head to squarespace.com uh, slash basement for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use the offer code basement to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Again, that is squarespace.com slash basement for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code basement to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. So go out there, create some websites and uh, send them to me. I'm going to see these things. All right. Now that Joey's done, it's my turn to talk. And what am I going to talk to you about? You already know. Patreon, baby. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard is where you get a little more of this sweetness, this juteness. Nope. Juiciness. This did, did you? Jute. I said juteness. Oh, I thought you said Jewishness. No, no. Juiciness. Okay. Uh, let's start that one more time. <laughs> How about that? Um... Uh, Patreon.com slash the basement yard. Listen, I've got some where to be. I want you to come along with me. And where is that? Patreon.com slash the basement yard, baby. All right. We tell you guys about Patreon all the time. And we thank you for all the growth and success we've had on Patreon. And we're climbing up those podcast ranks, baby. One rung at a time toward number one. And that's because of all of you. So thank you guys so much. It has been beyond our wildest comprehension, all the growth that we've had. And we want to keep getting there so we can keep giving you guys some stuff to laugh about, smile about, be happy about. All right. Um, so are you ready? Did you eat? Are you wanting to come and join the Patreon? There's a little hint for people right there. Patreon.com slash the basement. I do sign up for that first tier. Well, guess what? These weekly episodes that you see, you get them a week in advance. <laughs> and you go to that next tier. <laughs> you, say? you go to that next year and then baby you get those exclusive episodes every single friday where they're a little more a little more me and joe a little more joe naked a little more me naked no i'm kidding on that last two but you never know unless you find out for yourself patreon.com slash the basement yard would you say you want to come eat <laughs> i said no but yeah uh that's a wild situation to be in because like i don't know that i like can you imagine like you're just kind of connected oh that was in a movie Stuck on you. Was that what it was? Matt was Damon it? and Greg Kinnear. Jesus. 2004. Just, or 2003 or 2004. Yeah. What month did it come out? You make it Honestly, up? no, honestly, I think it was in like the later parts of the year, maybe like October or something like that. Frankie, if I look this up and it's October, I'm going to throw my laptop as far as I can. I, I, October, November, something like that. Was it stuck with you? Stuck on you. Stuck on you. I want to say 2004. Because I got it the same year I got The Incredibles. 2003. Whoa. Oh, December. all right. 2003, December. I was right, technically, kind of. Wow. I'm good, baby. Weird. Why do you know that about that movie? It's so random. I, one year, my cousin, who will rename nameless. He will rename. <laughs> remain nameless. Got us a bunch of, like, burnt DVDs that he illegally got. It stuck on you as one of them. And I remember other movies that we had gotten around that time. And I believe... In addition to The Incredibles, which I think actually The Incredibles 2004, but like Windows XP was in there somewhere. What's that? Windows XP. Just the, the operating system. Yeah. Why was that on a burnt CD? So we can have it. Oh, I didn't know that that's how that happened. I thought it just came with the computer. Sometime, but you would also have to upgrade, but you would have to buy the upgrade sometimes. Oh. You don't remember like Windows 95? No. What do you remember? Uh, about computers? Uh, yeah. Not much. Besides the massive amounts of porn that you used to watch on them. Not massive, but a good amount. <laughs> good amount. A, a, a healthy amount. A, what's a healthy amount? Just like, you know. I mean, I couldn't watch porn that much when I was younger. You put There's like so this. many people in my house. Yeah. Well, now it's fucking free. You're free balling. You're free gaming it up. You got no one stopping you now. No. Now you're able to name like different categories and like actors and actresses and stuff. No, I can't. Categories. Yeah. Yeah, you could just name anything. It's a category, I'm sure. <laughs> pee pee poo poo. Well, I often bring up like Lamps. oh, oh, like I was farting on cakes. Remember that? Yeah, you remember that. Very. It's a, fun, it's a good one. Is it? Not good, but well, like, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's, it's, it's funny. It's unique. Yes. Is the term we're looking for. That's kind of wild, farting on cakes. It is a little crazy to fart on cakes. Mm -hmm. Because last thing I would imagine to do with a cake is put my butt near it. 
Yeah, I just want to eat cakes. And you want to eat butts, so you have that in line. <laughs> All right. We do have sponsors for today, like I said. Uh, we have Stitch Fix, folks. Uh, Stitch Fix is like your personal stylist. You go on their website, you take a little style quiz, and you tell them what you're into, okay? What your sizes are, what your height, what your weight, and what your fit is like, okay? You like a regular fit, a slim fit, or like a relaxed fit. Uh, you fill out all these things. They have sizes from uh, extra small to 3XL. Um, they have a thousand brands and styles that you that you know of and that you've heard of and that you'll love. Um, so yeah, they'll just pick out outfits for you and they send them to you. And if you like them, cool. It's Stitch Fix. It's like having a like I said, it's like having a personal stylist. Also, just one more thing you don't need to worry about. It will constantly keep your uh, wardrobe fresh, um, and it's great. Uh, Stitch Fix is offering our listeners twenty dollars off of their first fi fix at stitchfix.com slash basement. That is stitchfix.com slash basement for twenty dollars off today. Uh, go check them out. Easy way to get clothes that fit you just right. Okay, go fill out the style quiz. Uh, it's a lot of fun actually. Uh, and and uh, we also have Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh. They're gonna get you farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. You go on their website, you pick from a bunch of different menus. Uh, you know, you can choose from over a hundred items to round out your order, from snacks to easy lunches to desserts, pantry necessities. Everything arrives in one box on delivery day, uh, on the delivery day that you choose. Um, but yeah, it's great. You pick out a couple things, it comes to your door. What's better than that? It comes in a box, you open it up, pre-portioned, boom, you make the thing, nothing gets wasted, you're not wasting any food, and then you eat all of it. And then you can keep the little thing, have a nice little recipe, make yourself a little cookbook. Um, but it's affordable, it's way more affordable than going to a restaurant, and it's actually more affordable than going to the grocery store. So, there you go. Uh, save some money and do some fun, cook in your kitchen, go to hellofresh.com slash basement16 and use the code basement16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Um, that is hellofresh.com slash basement16 and use the code basement16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. All right, folks, enjoy. Our next sponsor is Etsy. Etsy is great. I love shopping on Etsy, especially when the holidays come around and for birthdays. It's always the first website that I go to uh, when looking for gifts for other people or something that I just want in my apartment as well. Uh, there is beautiful items that are made by independent sellers on this website. Uh, and there's a bunch of things that you can buy, uh, jewelry, furniture, art, and more uh, for all budgets, any occasion. Like I said, uh, usually when occasion rolls around, if it's you know, a uh, Valentine's Day or it's Christmas or someone's birthday, I will go on Etsy and see what's out there. There's wonderful things. I know I've bought uh, a wallet for one of my friends that was made out of like a baseball jersey on this site from an independent seller there. So really cool items that you can get, really cool gifts, I gift ideas. And if you're new to Etsy, you can use the code NEW for 10% off your first purchase. That is the code NEW. Uh, maximum discount value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. You can see terms at etsy.com slash terms for home style and gifts. Uh, shop etsy.com. Etsy has it. Again, uh, use the code NEW for 10% off of your first purchase if you're a new Etsy shopper. Um, also, I, uh, I, just, I love you. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Too much? <laughs> the way you said that. The way you, the way also, I said you were like flashing your uh your wedding ring at me when you said that so i don't know what's going on with i you. love you <laughs> i could slip it right off yeah, uh, well no i wouldn't do that okay it's a joke it's a nice ring what's it made out of titanium no yes the other part oh cedar you thought okay i thought you meant the metal part joey why would i give a shit about that part the it's, other part because it's, it's on there joey it's the whole part of it but i'm staring at the brown as you normally do. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's sometimes. Why'd a little... you get cedar? Um, Does that mean something to you? No. Oh, you just thought I like it looked it. cool. I like it. Why don't you just go with like a like a like a you know a regular ring? Why'd you want? I like wood? this one. It's a, it's stylistic and and and. You like wood? I do like wood. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I don't know. It's just a stupid question. <laughs> oh, well, you were trying to get like a like a boner joke out of it, Joey? No, no, no. I, trying to I get wasn't. me to say I like boners? No. Well, now you're just saying it. No, seriously. No. <laughs> Wait, about what? Do you like boners? My own. <laughs> no one else's. 
No, I don't like other boners. Bro, did you hear we got more news about Megan Trainer and her husband? Uh, what? She was talking about his big old fat old wang, apparently. Oh, he's got a big saucy. She was like, he puts it in, and I'm like, ouch, is it in? And he's like, that's just the tip. Hold on. You didn't hear about this? Megan Trainer, husband, oh, big dick. dick. <laughs> Google, <laughs> doing the Lord's work. <laughs> Huge penis, and it hurts during sex. Uh, There's no way. Look at him. He was in Spy Kids. You can't have a big wiener in Spy Kids. Yeah, she said on a podcast uh, to the point where it's like, is it all in? And he's like, just a tip. And, and I'm like, I can't do any more. I don't know how to fix that. So damn, man, they're having half sex. Oh, she may have vaginismus. That's totally different. That oh, that's when it, it like closes up, right? Yeah, it just kind of just goes, nah, dude. No, no, no. I it's remember like that having from the show Sex Education. Bouncer. I, hey, there's a bouncer at the door. And yeah. he's like, we're at, we're at capacity. It's like, no one's in there. It's like, that's the point. Yeah, I, she has vaginismus. So maybe he doesn't have a big old fat old wang. Yeah, maybe it's he has a regular she's wang. trying to cover for him. Well, that's good. That's because nice. you'd rather get turned away for being too big than turned away for being too small, you know? Yeah, I would, I would want my wife to go on... You know, talk shows and be like, fucking things, a mountain of cock. I almost, like, <laughs> I, I I guess, yeah. But then then also, like, I would have to live with the fact that she's lying about it, you know? I can live with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather just be like, yeah, it's okay. It's all right. Uh, you would rather your wife go on TV and go, it's fine. Yeah. Really? Then her go on TV and be like, Oh my God! Like I can't walk for days. No, there's an in between. I'd there. be like, well, like you're 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 lying about me. Yeah. Now. Well, like what else are you out. lying about? You tell me you love me. You know. Oh, I see what you're you saying. You know what I'm saying? Like that's where my brain goes. Well, that's insecurity, baby. Damn right it is. Well, you should probably see a therapist for that. But ah. different different thing. Uh, there's an in between there. Which she doesn't is? have to go. Oh my God! It's like putting a foot in me. <laughs> she doesn't have to do that, right? Okay. She could just be like. <laughs> yeah, she could she could speak respectfully. Just like a double thumbs up. She like, could speak respectfully. Yeah, like she could just be like you know like you know when people do that thing where they give where they don't answer but they do answer. Yeah. Where they're like, I'm not gonna confirm or deny, but uh. Yeah, it's all in the eyebrows. It's all, it so is in the eyes. Like, how is it? And you go. <sighs> if my wife was like, it is okay. That would hurt. But she was like, it's uh, it's all right. Big difference. That's different. Yeah. Big difference because that means you have a fat. Damn. Or or forget about the fatness, just like it's 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 put to use well. Oh yeah. You know, like what would you rather have? You know, like a fat wad of cash that you don't use. Yeah, like or, ones or like, like ones. Ones that you use all of them of. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's not where I was going. Would you rather have I want inches, big bills. Would you rather have ten inches that you use only three of or four inches you lo- you use all of? Uh wait, what? That's what I'm asking. Why you. are those the options? I, those are just numbers I threw out. Oh. <laughs> what would you rather have? One more time. Would ten you, inches I use three of. Would, I, I'll put it like this. I'll put it like this. I'll put it like this. Go. go. Would you rather have a, a ten-bedroom mansion, but oh. you only use two of the rooms? Yeah. Or would you rather have a three-bedroom house and everyone is comfortable and very happy with yeah. what they have. Uh, I probably have the bigger house. It oh. sounds cooler. Really? Uh, probably a good backyard too. Oh, okay. Like a big pool. Well, the, I didn't. I didn't specify the pool or anything. I'm assuming you can. You can. You can jazz it up with whatever you want to make people forget about the fact that it's still a small house. Well, no, we said big house. I said big house. Yeah, but you want you want big house, all the bells and whistles. I'm saying, you get a big house, a lot of property, but it's a lot to maintain, Joey. Mowing that lawn. <laughs> It's a lot. <laughs> you could hire someone. You could, but it's still a lot. Or you can get one of those cool things where you drive around. A, m- a lawnmower? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Love how you just said one of those cool things you could drive around. You're just describing a lawnmower. <laughs> I know. Um, those are fun, though. Have you ever driven one? Uh, no. I drove one in New Jersey. You just going to New Jersey and my driving mo- lawnmowers? My cousin's house. You go to your cousin's house and you just drive lawnmowers? Well, I, I, I you know, well, your I family parties out. must be incredible. No, I, dude, we were just having a good time, but I was like, I know you guys have that. Can I ride it? You asked to ride your cousin's lawnmower. Yeah. It had a big giant sticker on the side of it. Yeah. Was it? Was it? Was it, was it like one of those situations where it's like I want to live like the real people? 
You know, what? where like, you know, like you'll have like billionaires going to McDonald's all the time. <laughs> Is that what that was? No, this was when I was like fucking 12. Oh, okay. Well, then that's different. Then, then I completely understand. Yeah. I would, I would have driven anything. When was were, the last time you were on a horse or on, a, on an animal? Pre-K. On an animal? And like fake riding your dog doesn't count. Yeah. Uh, I would say, uh, yeah, I would say well, a horse. I haven't been on yeah. many animals. Me neither. We got to go. We got to get it. You want to get on a horse? Excuse you. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I did kind of say it. You in did. Like a, You're like, you want to get on a horse? You want to get on a horse? I'd go, I'd go horseback Pretty riding. lady. I'd go, well, take it easy. Yeah. I'd go horseback riding. Hurt your fucking cock. Well, that's why a lot of, you know, people were bow-legged, like, like cowboys and stuff like that. Yeah, what is that? Their legs look like horseshoes. Yeah, well, because they spent most of their life with their legs crossed open like that. They must have, like, good hips, though. Um, I... Uh, probably, yeah. I assume, like, no, but though, or no, they probably get like hip dysplasia and shit that like German shepherds get. Oh, uh, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> but I would like to ride a horse. I would too. I'd ride. I'd like I'm to ride an elephant. Them. Uh, what? Elephant? You want to ride an elephant? Yes. Okay. What are you gonna join the circus? No. Or go to uh, fucking India. India? Yeah. Thailand. Sure. Both. Places. You can ride them. Yeah. I didn't know you could ride an elephant. Of course you can. I want an elephant to like. They put like the mini like the the like mini house on its back. You know. Uh, that's so fucked. Well, I don't think they can. I would really... just for a second ride it though. Yeah, you would. And then I would like feel bad. I would kiss it. And then it would remember you forever. And then you'd go back in ten years, and it would remember you. I'm telling you this right now. If that were to happen, yeah. Like you've seen, have you seen the Christian the Lion? I think it's yes, called. Yes, I've seen Christian the Lion. You know, I bawled my eyes out the first time I saw that. You think I didn't? If an animal remembers me, I am so fucking happy. I think they say animals, uh, elephants and horses can really remember you. Oh, if a horse remembered me and just started like... Like bucking. Yeah, I don't know what they do. I think they, they do that trot. Or if an elephant hugged me with its trunk, just leave me here. Yeah, but you're, you're, you're in danger there. All it oh, takes is... Me. Well, what if it just is like, oh, I don't like how this guy just like looked in my eye yeah. and throws you across the room. That would hurt. That would. That would hurt for sure. Do you think you have any chance of beating up an elephant? Hey. <laughs> no. Yeah, me neither. Okay, good. I just want to make sure we establish that. Yeah. Well, aren't they like impenetrable? They're like crocodiles. Well, no, they do die. Like they, well, yeah. they are hunted. That's true. Pack animals can get them. Tigers, lions. Really? I, I can almost guarantee. I mean, it's probably very difficult, but like you can definitely get and kill an elephant as an animal. Bro, you never saw that video of that guy on an elephant in like Sri Lanka or somewhere, and then he just looks over to the left, and a fucking tiger jumps on top of the li uh, the elephant out of the weeds. The fact that people live amongst these things bro, is insane to me. Bro, watch that video again. The guy's just like on an elephant, and he looks around, and you see nothing, and then he looks, and then it's just fucking tiger. Dude, we need another Noah's Ark. Like, bring some animals to New York and just let them run amok. You think like, so? Yeah, dude. How co much cooler would it be if there was, like, colorful birds around? Yeah, colorful birds, cool. Or, like, bobcats. Yeah, you'd be cool. No more fucking, you know, 2 p.m. jogs, Joey. I mean, they're, like, contained in neighborhoods. Zoos. No. Out. So, let I'm going to ask this question, and I need you to answer real carefully. Yeah. Where would you put the deadly animals in New York City, Joe? Wherever. Where, where do you think? I, what do you think I was going to say? I don't know if you had a very specific area or two or three that you would say, yeah. No, I would just put them in like areas where like... You should put the more dangerous... Central Park. You should put the more dangerous animals in like the upscale neighborhoods. So like we can get rid of some millionaires and stuff around here, you know? Oh, we have to be in their will. We don't need to. Okay. Like the higher the tax rate... The more dangerous the, the more animal. dangerous the animals are. I like that. To just balance everything out. You right. don't want to put dangerous animals in like lower income socioeconomic areas because that would be insensitive and wrong. I want colorful birds. Uh, maybe not things that kill. You can get a parrot. Yeah, I know, but I, there should, I want them to be like wild. I think horses should just be running all the time. But we do have horses in New York City. You know City. what's crazy? You ever think about this? Horses. There's horses just out. Yeah. 
Like not not at a barn. You ever heard of a wild horses, dude? You, you ever heard of a chink? I think it's called Chincoteague Island. Hey man, that's what it's called. Okay, be careful. Um, don't need to be careful. That's what it's called. Okay. Um, and it's an island. Like I think it's off this, off of Virginia or, or uh, that general area, and the island is just populated only by wild horses. How did they get there? <laughs> they were brought there. Oh, and they let them fuck. And they let them fuck. Yeah, because horses. Dude, I would. What do horses eat? Just grass. Hay, grass. I think they're herbivores. Like What's they don't. Hay? Dead grass. Oh. Is that true? I think. I don't know. I think. I it thought is. they all ate my, like oatmeal or something. I'm sure they'll give you. They'll they'll take an apple or a sugar cube or a carrot if they you give do. it to them. Oh, I saw an ASMR video once of a horse eating a bunch of different things. I enjoyed that way more than I thought I would. I never would have pegged you for liking that. Right. Yeah. Um, but it ate like an apple, dude. Just destroyed. I don't like how horses' mouths, like the top of it goes that way and the bottom goes this way, and it's like, yeah, their lip is like, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. I want their mouth. I have a fucking straight mouth. Like, yeah, just up and down. Just baby. up. That's all you need. But it's like a Pepsi symbol. Like it's like. It is. It is like a or Pepsi. Or like a yin and yang. And cows too. Cows are like. Yeah, they chew like fucking assholes. Yeah, so yeah I don't. I don't like it's that. It's a spin cycle. It's a spin cycle. Oh, that's why you know it's like, oh yeah, you gonna chew like that? If a fucking, I'll see you at poor, I'll see you at Peter Luger's. Yeah, exactly. Cows provide a lot. They do. Mostly methane. You heard about that? No. Yeah, we have too they many fart cows. Their farting is fucking up the environment. Really? Yeah. Too many too many beef farms. You know, one time I walked into my mom's house. And your mom farted. <laughs> I, I would die laughing. You ever heard your mom fart? I'm sure I have. Yeah, probably. But, you know, she's good at hiding it. All women are. I think they're doing the whole, like, Hold your butt open. Well, they've had to repress feelings for so long that they can also repress their farts uh, pretty well. I don't know. I feel like women have had it easy in this country. Hmm. Elaborate on that. Just like, you know, just like uh, anyone, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'm going to let you keep elaborating on that. I won't let this joke perpetuate. It's a joke! Oh, okay. Um, I was going to say something. I bet you were about <sighs> women having it easy. No. I, <laughs> what was I going to say? Shit. Oh, I walked into my mom's house, and she was watching a show um, of this guy. His name's Dr. Paul, and he put his whole arm in a cow's asshole. I've seen, I've seen that before. And he was like turning a baby cow. Yeah. They, that, they have to like sometimes artificially inseminate them. Yeah, and like the asshole was like, yeah, it's like a reversed. butterfly. Yeah. It was like a butterfly. That's yeah. a really Yeah, you're right. I know I'm right. A fleshy butterfly. Do you um do you remember I think it was Jackass 2 where they have to put their arm all the way into like a horse's ass? Would you do that? No. <laughs> you wouldn't? No. Frankie. Yeah? 21,000 patrons. We fly to a barn. And you want to know shove something? our arms in a cow's ass. You want to know something? <laughs> I actually, Joey, it's funny you bring that up. I was going to talk to you about a Patreon exclusive video as you and I become farmhands for a day and film the entirety of it. Nah, we just, you want your hands to do some farming? Farm it inside of a cow up to your shoulder. Joey, I don't think I could stomach that. You can. I can't. Throw up then. Would make no. it even better. No. Bro, I, I haven't thrown up in nearly 15 in years. Ass. You think I'm going to start throwing up now? Dude. I can't, 21,000 patrons at this rate we're gonna hit that tomorrow I think, this, I think this is a good thing we should go to a, a farm we want to shove our hands in a cow's ass and we want to milk cows you know because we want to I think we can be farm hands for a day I think that'd be a great uh, video what else can we do there we can uh, ride a horse ride a horse lasso we're not gonna do that I want to feed goats I want to scream but yeah I want to scream pig at pigs pig yeah Okay. I like you know how you scream pig at people in the street? I don't. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> Yo, Keith, one time listen to this. Yo, Frankie, listen to this. One time <laughs> One time Keith was trying to explain a sound. Mm -hmm. He goes <laughs> He goes, "You know <laughs> Oh god, here we go." He was trying to explain a sound and he goes, "You know when you throw change at a bum?" <laughs> but no, I don't. <laughs> I don't think bum no is. Change. I don't think bum is appropriate anymore. No, still funny. No, it's hilarious. But like <laughs> throw change. Like, like, <laughs> you fuck. 
like, shake I have, it with, I have no idea with absolute that was disdain like too. Like yeah. you're not throwing it with like happiness in your heart. Bro, I was on the floor <laughs> rolling around. I bet. You ever throw? You ever throw change at a bum? What sound is that? Oh, That's God. really funny. Anyway, we can end on the bum. <laughs> How but many we have things- to put our arms in a cow's ass. Oh, yeah, maybe. How many things did we say we were going to talk about and we got to? One. One thing, yeah. One thing. <laughs> no, but you were a big glove. Joey, what? stop trying to make this work. Wouldn't it be nuts? No, because what if that glove broke? <laughs> Whatever. And you were knuckled. If you, you were fucking shoulder Frankie, deep. Yeah, you're not knuckle. In- the knuckle's easy. <laughs> you're going to be all the way in. If you were shoulder deep in a cow's ass, no thanks. That'd be so fucking hilarious. You do it. I probably would. Get face deep. They in would it. have to. Excuse me. I can't wait till you do it and it shits. <laughs> and the fucking poop is curling up your shoulder and your neck. Dude. Crazy. Maybe we will. Who knows? Would you do it though? Like if a guy did it first and he was like, look, this is all you have to do. You just stick your arm in, pull it out. I bang. guess, but. <laughs> fucking insane. There are certain things in life that, like, you when you grow old, you know how people when they grow old, they're like, like "Yeah, I went traveling and I fucking I saw the Louvre and the Mona Lisa and the Northern Lights." What do you do, fucking grandpa? I'd go. I got shoulder deep in a fucking uh, in a, in, a, in an ox. Yeah, you know. Let's do it. It's cool. It's a bucket list thing. Uh, let's. If the people want it, we'll do it. We'll be farm hands for a day. We have to wear overalls. Don't you fucking tell me we don't. What the fuck else am I going to do? And I'm going to chew on some straw that I pull out of the ground. Yeah. Where can we go? I'm sure that... Bro. Kansas or something? No, they have they have farms not far from where I am. Uh, fisting it, ones? I, Joey, I don't think they... I don't think that the geographic location is what ties the fisting. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. I'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> so, can you imagine on Instagram just like this? <laughs> I think that'd get taken down pretty quick, Joey. Why? Because it'd be a fucking ass. No, 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 from the side. Oh, okay. And I'd be like this and like this. My arm would pull me in a cow's ass. That'd be fucking crazy. Yeah, that would be. Why am I giddy about this? Uh, you're very excited about it. Um, honestly, and I'm a little shocked. It'd be my first fisting. Because there's a it'd lot be of... be your third? Let's stop that. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even funny. Okay, well... That's all we have for today, folks. No, it's not. We also have... No, that is all we have. F. Alvarez8085 on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez and all other forms of social media. Go check it out. And the Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Guys, we can't keep thanking you enough for getting us past 20000 Legitimately, a pipe dream we had years ago. So the fact that we got there, we are very, very appreciative. We want to thank you. And we will continue to do what we can to bring you guys something that makes it worthwhile. So go tell your friends, family, loved ones, hated ones, whatever you want to do. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Yeah, go follow me at Joe Santagato and go follow the show on TikTok and Instagram at The Basement Yard. And that is all. See you guys next time. Yep. Bye.